Bree, thank you. Today, a clearer picture for the future of District 5 headquarters. The number of possible sites now down to four. Nottingham Science Jake Rowell joins us with which site came out on top and the timeline for when it could be built. Well, the parking lot and the building behind me here on Hamilton Avenue in College Hill, one of the final four choices for a future District 5 in Cincinnati Police. Today, an opportunity to go over those four choices with council. We're going to call the Law and Public Safety Committee meeting to order. First, the facts. This building was uh, meant to be a temporary home for District 5 back in 1957. District 5 overdue for a new home. We often refer to this as the three bedroom ranch. What started out as several dozen choices was narrowed down to nine and then to four. This is intended to represent all neighborhoods in Police District 5, not just whatever neighborhood it gets placed in. The finalist, Blooming. 3300 Central Parkway along with the motel next door. The graffiti written lot on the corner of Dane and Knowlton in Northside. The former con site on Spring Grove and Hamilton Avenue in College Hill. You know my strong support for District 5 being uh, in College Hill. But the facts might point a different direction. The site's graded on three measures how feasible it is to build on the location, the overall police operations, and the impact a D5 headquarters would have on the community. In the meeting, the Central Parkway location gave the highest score. And I think at the end, as you've described, we're going to get an excellent product that is embedded in a, a, a community um, that serves a variety of neighborhoods. The recommendation on a permanent home for D5 will come within the next 30 days. Groundbreaking could come next spring with an opening in fall of 2020. Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.